Hey guys, Season Salt here today with a tutorial video covering the Air Server application. Now, this was an application originally designed for the iOS and Mac platform. However, they have released a Windows counterpart, which is arguably much better than the actual Mac counterpart. So, as you can see here, I am on the Air Server website, airserver.com. Uh, the PC client is known as Air Server Universal. I must warn you ahead of time that this is a paid application. Uh, a friend of mine gifted me this application, a license to the uh, application. For those of you who do have, uh, we'll actually go to the prices here. And uh, you can see here they have a seven day trial for free, educational license $11.99, consumer license, which is a standard license, is $14.99. And I have the business license uh, for. Uh, the air server if you have 20 bucks to spend I would honestly tell you it is very much worth it as the application does a lot that you would otherwise have to jeopardize your phone's integrity by rooting your phone and blah 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 long story short uh, but anywho I'm gonna cover this application for those of you guys who need help setting it up so once you download the air server application as you can see on my on the bottom here, I already have it installed. You don't need to download anything on your phone. This works as a Miracast uh, screen mirror. So it's basically, uh, in long story short, it's basically tricking your phone into thinking that it's a Chromecast, in a sense, uh, using the Miracast ability. Uh, the same way, if you've ever, uh, if anybody has a Chromecast, the same exact way that you would send your image to the uh, TV screen to watch movies and stuff like that. Uh, it's basically doing that, but for your computer. It is compatible with iOS devices, but I am covering Android only today. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, I have the application installed. Let's make sure nothing else is background. All right, so I click the air server icon and it basically notifies me I'm using Windows 10 here it notifies me that the air server is now active you don't have to do anything else here for your computer for now what you're gonna do is let me turn off my chroma screen for now because I'm gonna show you my phone screen so you will see now I'm on my phone I'm swipe it over and we're going to go down, swipe all the way over. Each device may be different. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S6. For all other devices, you would hit this little thing there that says screen mirroring. Uh, once you click that, you're going to get a menu that kind of looks like this. Now, these are the different devices that I can broadcast to. My PC is the, uh, the bottom one, and I'm going to click it. I think it is, it's going to say start screen mirroring. So once you hit that, you'll see that it is now connecting. And momentarily, you will see now my phone popping right up on my screen. Now, this program comes with a variety of features. So I'm going to put my phone down and I'm going to kind of walk through some of the settings here some of the preliminary settings that may or may not be need uh, may or may not have to be changed uh, due to your computer I'm running an alienware so I can have this mirror at 1080p with relatively little impact however if you don't have an alienware you don't have a top tier computer or you're rocking a laptop we're gonna walk over here to the settings and uh, there's my PC name the airplay feature this is for the iOS users here this is but we don't touch this what we're using here is the Mirrorcast, and you can see it's already enabled, uh, so I'm not going to touch anything there. We're going to go to audio. <clears throat> this is a tricky thing here because uh, the Air Server, with unlike previous versions of other screen recording applications, when you try to screen mirror, it would only take your microphone. Uh, it didn't allow you to take any audio from the internal sound card. It would only take your audio, so you had a like either play in a very quiet room with nothing in the background or you would have to root your phone in order to enable this however this program does not require root so uh, that being said there's an option here 
that uh, syncs that that calibrates the audio delay. This is this has to be set specifically for different apps. Uh, for instance, I play Vainglory from time to time. The audio doesn't really come out as good. However, the video quality is amazing. So I tend to play certain games. You'll you'll be able to have volume on, and some games you won't. So um, I I just have it set to negative 500 ms. I'm really not sure exactly how that impacts, but this seems to be that that leaving it all the way to the left seems to have not impacted anything at all or if anything made it less choppy uh, that's the only thing that comes out bad in this is that the audio is slightly uh, choppy depending on what program you're using but let's not let's not let that detract from the actual application itself um, you'll see it has this various display options I have two monitors here I have it set to my widescreen monitor I kept this option uh, default to the display's uh, refresh rate. I had it a custom value of 48, but I, I'm just going to leave it to the default. Um, also, I have the use accelerated graphics if available uh, clicked because <clears throat> my computer can handle it. If uh, your computer's a little slower, you might want to have that disabled. So we'll go to the mirroring option here. Um, I have really fast internet, so the buffering here, I only have it set to 300 ms, so it's, I have it set to near real time. See there, I'm swiping back and forth. Near real time uh, movement. Uh, the less, the lower you have this here, the more likely your audio will skip if you do not have the internet to sustain that kind of uh, processing, uh, land processing. So uh, this is something that the higher you raise it, it's going to create a delay on the device. Well, it won't do it now, but once you shut it down and uh, reopen it, it'll create a, uh, a delay. So you need to, if you are screen recording or something like that using OBS or XSplit, you want to calibrate your webcam and your microphone to compensate for that. But that's going to be covered in another video. Anyways, so yeah. Uh, you have an optimize uh, tab here, which can change your screen display to any uh, relatively any um, any screen resolution. I'm using 1080p. Recommended, however, uh, like when I stream online, I don't do 10, 10, 1080p. Excuse me. <clears throat> I use the 720p option. Uh, it's generally less bandwidth consuming. Uh, I get less lag that way. So 720, in my opinion, is where you should go when you're using this application. Uh, this stuff you don't mess with, and none of this, yeah, nothing else here you should have to mess with. So really, we'll backtrack here. The mirroring, this is something you're going to have to calibrate depending on your network. And the audio, these two here are going to be the ones that you have to fiddle with until you get a nice balance of quality and sound. Um, if you're curious as to how the game or how a game would look. <clears throat> You'll see that it auto rotates your screen there. I didn't have to do anything. So let me uh put that back there. I'm gonna give you a quick snippet. I'm gonna hop into a tutorial game. And uh just like I did with my other video, just to give you a quick look, you see the graphics here are slightly better. And I'll show you uh, the quality, the overall quality. This is 1080p. As you saw, if anybody's seen the Samsung video, it's a little more uh, blurry. This is true 1080p resolution. This is about 25 to 30 FPS. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you can, I don't know if you can hear it. I'll raise the volume. But I am also getting the in uh, onboard gra uh, sound card to play through my computer. Which is, uh, for anybody who's tried screen streaming before, or screen recording, this is something that you were not able to do unless you rooted your phone. So, I hope you guys like what you see here. This is pretty good stuff. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments below, and I will do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, take care.